another hour of our sleep. So it's been gone an hour? Well, not quite an hour. Yeah. Three minutes short of an hour from when we left Rockstar. Yeah, I knew it must have been coming pretty close to being. Yeah, it's recording. Right. Right. Theoretically, that should be the last gate. Because that's the snow line gate. Those towers up ahead of us, they'll be the Vodafone and. That thing's going up. Hey? Eh? Temperature gauge. Is it going down? No, it's going up on the island. I don't give a shit where it's going. But we've got plenty of water. Plenty of oil. And you yeah. But that'll be telecom and Vodafone cell phone towers up here, right? Because further along is a TV translator. That was that real steep pinch that we come up the air. Was cooking it. Oh, oh look at this water in the outside of the, the creek there. Oh, look at the snow melt. Oh, eh? One good thing is it's all downhill all the way back. <laughs> yeah. It'll be all under break. Look at these bloody tracks the mongrels have been using. They've been going up through the mud there. On the left. One good thing about the video, it proves that we're coming up on the road. We're going to stay on the road. That through the back there is Mount Aspiring behind Wanaka. And there's the close glimpse of the obelisk, and that's the Old Man Rock tallest part of the mountain. And up until very recently this was covered in deep snow. But as you can see, there's nothing here now. There's a big snow sign. It's basically it's a big white triangle saying probably saying it's the top of the hill soon. Beware, you're going to drop 
way of the shore of the mint and Grady on the other shore. These big tall poles take you know where the road is supposed to go in the winter time. Snow poles. Go around the end, you're not going to be able to see it properly. Oh, that's brilliant. Bloody near see Mount Cook through there. In fact, that probably is Mount Cook, that tall one through there. Uh, that one's through there. Probably Mount Cook, no? in the in the distance, with the white on it. It'd have to be, it'd have to be a Mount Cook. Rodeo, moving on. It's got a different smell to it up here, hasn't it? Perfectly clear air smell. That's Alexander over there, and in the distance is uh, what's that? That's Old Woman Rock over this way. And you can hard that dun that low hill there to the left of the white first white cloud. That's the Dunstan Mountains. <laughs> Couldn't tell it there. In the distance is the Hawkins. They look a totally different aspect here, and in in the far distance is the mountain behind Kuriel on the other, over Hakatera Mere, I'm not exactly certain what it is. And Mount Cook is, has to be that one. Get into here. Mount Cook has to be that one over there with the snow on it. Alright, so what we're going to do is go down here. And that's looking out towards Palmerston that way, out towards Dunedin that way, the top of the, um, over behind Mount Onslow that way, towards Dunedin, and of course out this way, then we get round the corner and up the other side. There's going to be Bluff Hill on the other side. And you're going to say, yeah, right, can't see Bluff Hill. Well, on a good day, you can. Whee! We're going to actually go over here. Strange formations, do you? They're right on the top of the mountain. Most of the year they're covered with snow. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's good. Have, a, have another flaming gate on the top of the hill, that's really good. All the road, that's the road down to Boxborough that way. Of 
Wallace Department of Conservation just has to get in the act and have their signs over here. Yeah, it comes this way. No, if you... Yeah. Please keep vehicles here and trail bikes to the formed access roads. Yeah, I know there's a sign over there. We'll go and see it. Kopuwai Conservation Area. Yeah, I know there's another hill behind it. Yeah. That's the... No, this way. This way. Here's the app. Now, if we get the sign in the right place. Please keep vehicles and trail bikes to the formed access roads. By doing this, you'll help protect rear and delicate plants, protect historic sites and relics. That's right now, what we're doing is we're going to hold it here. And that's going to roll that way. Sweet. Up here to Simon's Road, up here, and we're looking out towards Nicholson's Hut, the Co Fi Conservation Area, and down this way is the road down to um, Waikaia Bush Road. Actually, we could go down there and go home, we could go home down Waikaia Bush because we come down here, go down this track, past Hyde Rock, and down here, and come down Waikaia Bush Road and come into Shingle okay. Creek. Which is down that way. Okay. I just want to take a photo of this. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see I've never done that. That wouldn't be a silly idea. But yeah, that's definitely Mount Cockaway over in the distance there, dear. Behind your head. Yeah, where's those monoculars? things don't we people we'll go up to the yeah. translator in a minute and I just want to get a uh, on there can you hold the phone for a minute now I'll just dial out make sure that's dialed in that's dialed in that's dialed out I actually need my glasses just hold it on.
never mind. I'll put this in here and see if I can see that. That's better. Where are they? Where are we? Can't see. I need my, I need my goggles. Yeah, it's alright. Can you hold the phone again? Oh, this in the right place again It's weird, but I got my dark. He's over the top of the other ones now. And those mountains over there. Uh, where the hell is this here? No, I still can't see. How are we going, dear? Can you hold those, please? I thought it would work, but it's not working. It's just so bright up here, the air is so clear. Uh, and that up there is the obelisk with the translator. And the distance here is the Okay, it's a Nifflesen's hut. Well, it sure as hell looks like it's not a walking bike, mountain bike track because there's definitely been vehicles over it. And the vehicle tyres are six to eight feet apart, so it's definitely a four wheel drive. Right, let's go. Yeah. But that way down there is vehicle. So I'm trying to see the four wheel drive on summer dry conditions. The two wheel drive continue north, which kind of rubbish. Yeah, I'll tell you the four-wheel drive only heads south to reach Hyde Rock and then continue northwest to the Boundary Hut Gate. Northwest Hyde Rock. Northwest. It's that way. No stuff that Boundary Hut Gate. Heads south to reach Hyde. You can do it. Simon's Road to Kuiper Obelisk. Simon's Road to Obelisk to two kilometres. Half an hour here, basically. Simon's to hide. Rock. Six kilometres. Hide rock to Waikaya Bush Road. Six kilometres. And then it's been
Could you, of course, tell them you're going to go back down that road? Well, that's too much stuff that we're going down there. Um, you wrote on that thing that we're going down that way, didn't you? Hey? Yeah. Well, the thing is, there's no telephone number. Yeah. And. No and what did you put? What did you put your name or? Yeah, well, they can ring up and find out we're home. Right. Oh, yeah, carry on. We go up this way. And then we'll go that way. Um, yeah, okay, that way. It's 12k down to the Waikaia Bush Road. And then we'll go down through. Um, through um, Ash McGregor's. Back home. Sorry, you closed your window because it was icy cold. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I can't see that near you. Of course, it's going to be icy cold. Ooh. And the temperature's gone way back down there. Almost normal now, you see. Where do you want to go first? I'll go up the obelisk first and then we'll go down to the. Because otherwise, not much point coming up the hill if you don't go up the obelisk there. See, there's nothing up here. Even the scrub isn't isn't viable. There's nothing higher than about a foot. It's just an absolute wasteland. in the background over there. You see them over there? They look absolutely lovely from here. No, I'll take them off the top. They are just absolutely marvellous. hundreds of thousands of years and every winter they get covered in the snow so deep you can't even see the rocks going to react up here because some computerized cars die up here because they um, the electromagnetic forces around those TV 1, 2 and 3 tower is just astronomically brilliant the watch will probably stop for sure
theoretically the diesel shouldn't worry it. But if it does, we just have to push it out the way. Winch it back out of the way. around well away from this fella yeah I'll turn around the rock I'm getting out there, Luke. Now I must get my glasses on again. Yeah. Get my glasses. I'll get the other glasses out. Those other ones are too too harsh. Right, where's the You see, this way we're looking into the sun and therefore we're looking through the haze. But this way we're looking with the sun and there is no haze. This way, 360 degree look at that, folks. Now, this here is the. Way 
needs to translate on the top of the old man range. Up here, absolutely nothing. There's some drifts over there. <coughs> All those drifts are where it's, it's just.
Fellas. Are you having feed? Mm -hmm. oh, right, okay. Food take a time. <laughs> I just spotted this. Lovely big building. There's a sign here. This building is under constant 24-7 electronic surveillance. Yeah, yeah, anyone can see it electronically from down there. Well, I don't know who's over there electronically, but, um, oh, over up there, yeah, yeah, probably up there, the electronic, yeah, satellite, eh? Because it says on this sign, think about it, <coughs> all persons entering this site must comply with the safety regulations of the following Act. Yeah. It says New Zealand Safety Limited there. There's no Act written on that. In fact, it's so sun bleached. How the hell are you supposed to see what's there? I'll never know. But all persons entering this site must comply with the safety regulations of the following act. What the act of stupidity of not putting it in there. Now look, all these units are bonded. All these units are bonded to ground. as that thing is bonded to earth. Think about it. Every time there's a bunch of lightning storm here, yeah, they have lightning. Boy, these things must act like crazy. Because all these aerials up here, yeah, that's, a, that's an aerial, that's an aerial. That's an aerial, an aerial. Oh. All these control aerials, they're all bonded to earth. All the heavy bonding. To earth, to earth, stuck. There'll be massive great big earth around here. Yeah. 
all is a bonded of a 11 kV. So, I wonder what the following act is that you're supposed to comply with. <laughs> Fat lot of good having that sign. <laughs>